All right, Shalom, Real Hebrew Israelites come week in, week out. It's prophesied down for this present world. I'd like to first off, I give my all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, the ones, the apostles, and the elders, the great meals on the Duru and Tizuil. Peace, blood, to salutation, out of Akim, lift of name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, and true society and charity. All right, so we just get into a lesson on, hey, the mercy of the Lord is going to save us, man. You know, without the mercy of the Most High, is is no salvation for anybody. It's simple as that, you know. Because we all need the mercy of the Lord, man. You know, but does all people deserve the mercy of the Lord? No. You know, that's why the Lord, hey, we go get into it, Lord willing, man. But, hey, this is Psalms 1, 130 and 1. A song of degrees out of the depths, I mean, out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Uh, you know, hey, you got to cry unto the most high, man. You got to you gotta do something, you know, to show that you are... Um, Begging and hoping for the Lord to come back, man. Hoping for the Lord to show you mercy. And it says, Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Yahweh, shouldest mark iniquity, O Lord, who shall stand? So the Lord is marking all iniquity. No one's going to stand, man. You know, all the uh, all the sins that we have committed, you know, no one's going to stand. We all deserve death, man. Yeah. But we all know the Lord is merciful and the Lord is a beautiful power, man. We we are coming back. That's why the Lord said, fruits meet, meet, uh, fruits meet for repentance, man. No, you, you got to be meet, uh, ready for repentance, man. You know, a fit for repentance, man. You know, and it says, hey, a powerful nigga not going to repent. Right. You know? It says, it says, if thou, I mean, it's like verse four, but there is forgiveness with thee. So we know that the Lord has mercy. We know that there's forgiveness with the Lord. It says, uh, that thou mayest be feared, you know, fearing the Lord, but um, trusting the Lord's mercy, hoping in the Lord's mercy, waiting for the Lord's mercy. Micah 7 and 9 says, you're going to bear the indignation of the Lord because I sinned against him, man. To he plead my cause, you know, begging that the Lord's gonna come back and um um accept your sacrifice that we give him. The Lord's um told us to be a living sacrifice. It says in Sirach the 35th chapter, one that departed from uh iniquity or one that do it good, roughly paraphrasing, is a, a pleasing thing to the Lord. It's sacrificed much. You know, it's it's a sacrifice enough, roughly paraphrasing, man. But Verse 5 says, I wait for you, how will my soul, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. So right, this is our comfort, this is the comfort, we, we hope in the word of the Lord, we hope in the, uh, uh, the, the Lord's mercy and what he has told us, man. It says, my soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel, you know, <laughs> so there's only Israel, man. That's right. Let Israel hope in the Lord, Yahweh. For with Yahweh, there is mercy. And with him is plenty, plentiness, redemption. You know, so with the Lord, it's, it's uh, plentiness, redemption. It's a lot of uh, redemption from with the Lord, man. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. That's right. You know, the Lord is going to redeem us, man. But Who? Hey, firstly, chiefly the elect of Israel, man, because they are going to be begging. They're going to be trying to get back to the good grace of the Most High. And ultimately, all Israel's, uh, hey, after the Israel goes through that. Right, they hey, like it tells you in 2nd Ezra, you know. This 2nd Ezra shot the nine, and uh, let me see. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse uh Salaki, Salaki. Second Ezra is nine and nine. It says then said they uh said then said they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Mm -hmm. So hey man, hey, all, all, all of you people, man, that, that didn't, hey, cause that, that's a very that's unmerciful, man. All right, you're not gonna get uh that mercy, man. You're gonna down this side. All right, then you're going to get the mercy uh, in the kingdom of heaven, man. You're going to dwell in torments on this side, man, because uh, because this is your hill. All right, first and foremost, and hey, man, inside of your hill, you didn't want to trust in Yahweh Shem Shai. You didn't want that deliverance, man. You wanted to get deliverance from uh, another way, man. Mm -hmm. All right, but there is no other way. All right, the only way you're going to be saved is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, man. Believing on that name, man. Like it tells you in Acts, the, uh, the fourth chapter and the twelfth verse, man. 
All right, you gotta believe in the name Yahweh Shemuel Shai. Proverbs uh, ten, Proverbs eighteen and ten, man. Yep. All right, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, man. All right, and, hey man, if you trust in that name, you're gonna run into that man. You're gonna be safe. All right, but hey, if you don't trust in that, you're gonna dwell in torments. And it says in verse ten, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty. All right. Because, hey, man, you have liberty, man. All right. You have the ability to repent. All right. Everyone, hey, 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 hey all, all, all these young niggas, man, I right, with shoppers and, 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 and fucking all the other bullshit that they got, man. All right. You, you're, you are able bodied men. All right. You can go stand on these highways and bad ways, man. All right. You can go and push out uh, 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 four or five videos, man. Whatever you got to do for your how about Shemel Shah, man. All right, these guys can do these things, man, but guess what? They will never do it because they don't love the Lord, man. They love Satan. All right, they love uh, their flesh, man. All right, they love to do the things that they uh, that, 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 that they can do inside this world, man. All right, and not be judged right away, man. All right, because there is no lawfulness. There is no uh, ju justification inside this world, man. All right, it's only unlawfulness, man. All right, inside this, uh, inside this kingdom, you know? Right. But hey man, hey, like it tells you inside that Ecclesiastes the eighth chapter, man. Hey, don't 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 you uh sin in a hundred times, man. I right, would not go well with you, man. All right. But hey man, as for the men that fear in your how about Shemel Shah, man, it would go well with them because they're on their P's and Q's, man. They're trying their very best uh uh not not to sin against the Lord, man. You know? Right. But hey, hey, you two third niggas, man, you loathe the law of the Lord, man. So hey, the Lord is gonna loathe you. Hey, let me grab this before um I finish reading that, man. This is Proverbs chapter 8 and 33. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. And hey, man, this, this is the, the wisest man uh, to ever live, man, King Solomon. All right, which is Yahweh Shaft, you can receive that. And it says, verse 34, Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates and uh, waiting waiting at the post of my door. So, hey, man, blessed bless is, 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 is the elect, man, because the elect is the only one that's going to be watching, man. All right, watching uh for, uh, for the day of the Lord uh, to come back, man. All right, we're not trying to fuck up, man, because we don't want to be destroyed. And it says in verse 35, For whoso findeth me findeth life, and I and, and shall attain favor of Yahweh. But he that sinneth against me wronged his own soul, and uh, uh, all they that hate me love death. So, hey, man, if you love the law of Yahweh Shemal Shah, which is hating the Lord, man, the Lord hates you, man. And you, hey, hey, man, you love death. You love to go through torments, man. Yeah, and it talks about in Sirach, <clears throat> the 32nd chapter or 33rd chapter. It says, um. What do you get? Yeah, yeah, the, the water. Sirach, like, yeah, I know what's that. It was, uh, Sirach 33 and 2. A wise man hateth not the law. Yeah, but he that is an hypocrite therein yeah. is a ship in a storm. Hey, a wise man hateth not the law. Hey, verse three says a man of understanding trusteth in the law, <laughs> and the law is faithful unto him as an oracle. That's right. Hey, if you, if you wise, you have wisdom. So basically, you have no wisdom if you hate the law of the Lord. The law of the Lord is our wisdom. Right. You know, hey, the knowledge of wisdom, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. wisdom. Yeah, you know how to. Uh, uh, you know, roll a blunt with your eyes closed. That shit not wisdom. Right. But you know how to not deal with this man's wife because it's his wife. It's wisdom. Yeah. You know how to not go against the Lord. It's wisdom. You know how to get in the good graces of the Most High. It's wisdom. You know how to fear the Lord. It's wisdom, man. That's right. So, hey, let me go back to this. Second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 9. I'll say Second Ezra 9 and verse... Uh, Second Ezra is nine and uh, eleven. It says, "And they that have loathed my law, while they while they had yet liberty, and when as and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain." So, hey man, you you're, you're gonna have to know this law, man. All right, this is gonna have to be inside of you after you die, man. All right, after you uh get your judgment, man. Your horrible judgment, whatever it may be, man, whatever, it, even if it's ICBM nuclear missile fire, man, all right, hey, if the Lord ha had you set up for that, man, hey, you, you're going to have to learn after that, man, as speaking for the uh, Israelites, man, all right, because uh, you heed it, man, you're, you're, you're going to have to learn inside the kingdom as well, man, but hey, you're going to be learning uh, with chains on your necks, man, you know, but hey, it says, hey, for, uh, for you Israelites, man, it's going to be installed into you, man, yeah, you, you're not going to have the, uh, uh, that, that, that boosty spirit, man, to have the 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 um the ability to say no nah, I'm gonna eat this pork 
No, nah, I'm gonna do what I want to do. No, nah, man, you're 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 gonna do what Yahweh Hashem uh wants you to do, man. You know. But hey, it says, uh, verse thirteen, and therefore be be thou not curious how the godly shall be punished and when, but acquire how the righteous shall be saved, uh, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. So, hey, man, the only thing that we worried about is is, is the elect, man. All right, is, is is the mercies of the Lord, man, delivering the elect, man. We're not worried about. Uh, uh, two thirds of our people, man, because they 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 would not receive that mercy on this side, man. All right, because they wanted to uh um be be in alliance with Satan, man. You know, so hey, they're gonna die with him. You know. Mm -hmm. Hey, and our people are heathens. Yeah. So they getting the heathen judgment. Do what makes us, you know, uh, hey, pursuing to being an Israelite, because we try to keep the law, and commandments. We try to um uh, get back to our heritage. How the hell can you say you're Israelite if you being the shit like uh, Esau does? Yeah. Like Ishmael does. You're not an Israelite, nigga. You're a heathen. Right. You're going to have to be an Israelite on the next side, man. You know? But, hey, and th that's why you don't deserve any uh, mercy, man. But, hey, that's in the mercy, it's the only way of salvation. Getting back in the right uh, man says it's the only way of salvation, man. Uh, you was finished with that? Yeah. Uh, you have something? Uh yeah, I yeah, I was gonna grab the song, but if you got some uh, you got it. Icon. So this is uh Psalm chapter six and verse one. It says, uh, O Yahweh, rebuke me not in thy anger, mm -hmm. neither shasten me in thy hot displeasure. All right, because hey man, hey, we hey you, you don't want that, man, because Yahweh Shmael Shah is is a very terrifying power, man. All right, hey, the Lord, the Lord will bring will bring some uh horrible judgment down upon you, man. You want the Lord to be merciful unto you, man. All right. All right, and the only ones that's gonna be praying for that are the elect. Oh, uh, it says, have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, for I am weak. All right, hey, man, we're in his flesh, man. We're weak as fuck, man. You know? It says, oh, oh, Yahweh, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed, uh, but doubt, but doubt, O Yahweh, how long? Return, O Yahweh, deliver my soul. Oh, save me for thy mercy's sake. All right, man, we want the Lord to save us for, for his mercy's sake, man, because we know that the Lord is a merciful power, man. All right, he has promised mercy. I right, am redemption for the elect of Israel, man. You know? So this is Micah 7 and 18. Damn. <laughs> Micah 7 and 18. Who is, who is a power like unto thee that pardoned that pardon iniquity and pass it by the transgression of the, of the uh, remnant of his heritage? The remnant of his heritage, man. All right? Meaning the elect, man. The Lord is only dealing with a small number of, uh, of, of people, man. Uh, a small number of Israelites, man. He's not dealing with the entire world. All right? He's not dealing with uh, all, all of Israel, man. All right, all a a a that's that's why all camps cannot be together, man. Because the Lord is only dealing with one doctrine, man. All right, the Lord is not the art, the author of confusion, man. All right, and it says, uh, he he retained it not his anger forever because he delighted in mercy. The Lord delights in mercy, man. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities. All right. Uh, and, and hey, man, the Lord is going to subdue our iniquities, man. Hey, meaning that he's going to uh, 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 hold them down, man. All right, they're going to be, hey, they're, they're going to be held down. All right, we're not going to be able to sin anymore, man. All right, pursuing the, uh, Hebrews, the eighth chapter, man, you know. Yeah. And it says, and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. All right, amen. Yahweh shall lay his life down for, for the elect, man, first and foremost, man. So, amen, once the Lord comes back, man, redeems us, man, all right, and, and gives us those uh, new bodies, man. All right, everything, everything that we that we did inside of our past lives, man, all that shit is going to be forgotten, man. All right, we're going to have the kingdom of heaven forever, man. All right, forever and ever, man, you know, and it says, um, thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to, to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old, not the whole world. Yep. All right. Not the heathen. Yep. All right. Only dealing with Israel, man, and dealing with that remnant of his heritage, man, you know, yep. hey, it, that's to touch on the point that it say, hey, the Lord delighted in mercy. It says it's the Lord's um, pleasure to give us a kingdom. Mm -hmm. The Lord wants to be merciful to us, man. But, hey, this, um, Sirach. What, five? No, I was going to get Sirach. <laughs> uh, Sirach 21. This is Rock 21 and 1. This is my son. Has thou sinned? Do so no more. But as, as pardon for thou former sins. Mm -hmm. So hey, hey, just just pray for mercy. Ask the Lord to pardon for your former sins. And I'm just not saying Christian doctrine. I uh, I'm sorry. And then do the, and then I'm sorry for eating his pork. 
and then eat the pork tomorrow. No, you right. gotta, you gotta. Uh, that, that's not repentance, man. Yeah, how, can, how can you repent if you're doing the same shit, man? Hey, the scripture say frustrate not the grace of uh, uh, Hamashiach, man. All right, yeah. Hamashiach Yahweh. Yeah. And it also says, um, basically, uh, if one touches a dead body and he washes his hand and he touches again, what, what, uh, uh, basically, what prosper does the washing do? Right. It doesn't. You can't just, I, right, Lord, I'm sorry for. Uh, commit adultery, then commit adultery with a different woman. Like that, that, that shit is folly, man. And verse two says, "Flee from sin as far from the face of a serpent." You gotta flee from sin, like you fleeing from danger. Yeah, you gotta get away from this. Hey, wait, what it tell you in that proverbs, man? Oh, turn away. Go not it there. I said, go not near it. <laughs> yeah. Avoid it. Pass like, not hey, by it. Hey, man, you, you see a group of niggas smoking weed on the block, man. You need to go the other way. You got. You better turn around and, and be gone. Yeah. You 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 see a game your cousin a game banging ass nigga and you used to be a game banging ass nigga and he wanted you to ride on these niggas you better stay away from his ass uh. you know hey it, it it gets even heavier it says for if thou comest too near it it will bite thee right it says the teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion mm. slaying the souls of men. Yeah, hey, verse three all iniquity is as a two edged sword. The wounds thereof cannot be healed. Right. So, hey, man, you need the mercies of the Lord, man. Yeah. You need it, man. It says to ter- to terrify and do wrong will waste. Uh, well, that's basically the, uh, the point of that, man. But, yeah. That, hey, you got to flee away from sin. You got to get away from it to the best of your business. You got to keep praying to the Lord. You know? get a, you, you can't keep falling for the same shit, man. You know, the Lord said at one point he winked at your iniquity, man. Uh, roughly paraphrased, he's not doing it anymore, you know? You can't just be praying to, uh, to the Lord to repent and you saying that you're not going to, and you still doing the same shit, you know? You can't get, keep getting caught up in the same traps, man. Con, hey, can you grab the fifth, the, uh, fifth chapter? Con, con, this is Sirach. This is Sirach 5 and yeah, 5. This is Sirach 5 and 5. It says, concerning appropriation, be not without fear to ask sinner to sin. Con, so hey man, you 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 gotta have that fear in your heart, man. Like hey, I know I, I know that I'm in this flesh, man. I know I, I'm gonna fuck up. All right, you fuck up, you repent, man. You pray to y'all about Ask the Lord to never uh, put that spirit on you to do to, to do something like that again, man. All right, and try your best to avoid it, man. All right, be in fear to ask sin unto sin, man. Because hey, you hey, keep going. It says and say not his mercy is great. He will he will be pacified for the mercy of I mean for the multitude of my sins. Right, because hey man, you 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 would think hey man, this is a merciful power. All right, I hey, man, I've been I've been reading all this man. I could do it. Right, I I I, I could do it. I could do I could do a little something. Hey, then next thing you know, said verse six. It's just one rib. I mean, right. <laughs> for mercy and wrath come from come from mercy. him. Right, mercy and wrath, man. Next thing you know, man, that wrath is raining down upon you, man. All right, because hey, 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 you, 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 you forget, man. All right, how about Shimei Shaq have mercy on whom he wants to have mercy on, man? Mm-hmm. All right, hey, if you a sinner, man, all right, you're wicked, man. The Lord is not gonna have mercy upon you, man. No. All right, the Lord, the Lord is uh, has your ass in a trick bag, man. That's right. All right, the deceiver and the deceiver is his, man. All right, hey, but whatever you how about Shimei Shaq wants to do do unto you, man, he's gonna do it, man. All right, whether or not he allows you to build your sand up, all right, or he allows you to stub your toe after you do some uh some fuck shit, man. So you so so you will know. Like, hey, don't do that shit again. Next time, it's going to be a lot worse. Salaki, so how about Shemel Shai? All right, but these niggas don't have that luxury, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, it says, hey, the brother read the scripture of Micah the seventh chapter that he delight in mercy, but it also says the Lord loves judgment. Mm-hmm. The Lord loves judgment. I see it, the Lord is in the, uh, Isaiah the 59th chapter. It said he is displeased that there's no judgment in the world. Uh-huh. The Lord is pissed off that there's no judgment. Where the fuck is these niggas not dying, man? Like he's just locking niggas up for like for locking niggas up forever. Like no, that's not judgment. That's 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 unrighteousness. Right, that's man, what... hey, niggas don't fear jail, man. Hey, you you go to jail, you get to fucking eat all day. I mean, not all day, but you 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 got a meal. You ain't got to work. You know, like hey hey you you hey now inside the jail, man, you got fucking smartphones, man. You got two K and shit, man. Yeah. You know, these niggas ain't worried about jail, man. These niggas be happy to go to jail, man. They got to deal with their baby mama. They got to deal with their fucking kids, man. Yeah, these niggas look at jail as a fucking um, uh, resort or some shit. And they and they look at that shit as like a, a stamp of being a quote unquote real nigga. Yeah. 
Oh man, I did. I went in the pen. Like nigga, what? That like, hey man. And these niggas are already homosexuals, man. So they don't give a fuck, right? And it says, um, and his indignation resteth upon sinners. Right. His indignation resteth upon sinners, man. His righteous judgment. Psalms 19 and 9, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, everything that the Lord does uh, upon a sinner, man, or upon anyone is righteous, man. Because guess what? We all deserve death, man. We all deserve these things, man. All right. So, hey, man, hey, hey, whatever uh, Yahweh Shema Shah brings upon you, man, whatever mercies he brings upon you, man, hey, you, hey, you deserve it, man. You know? But hey, I, I as for a sinner, man, hey, you you're not gonna get any mercy, man. You're gonna get that uh that death, man. All right, because you want to serve uh, a heathen, man, and be a heathen. You know? Yep. And in Job eleven chapter said the Lord exacted less than our iniquities deserve. Mm-hmm. That's mercy within itself, you know. Con. Yeah. So, hey, man, hey, we pray that this lesson was edifying, man. We would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakadash, the ones that are the apostles of great meals, so I do it well. In salutations and bless you, I can as push his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Baba Ball.